that there's anything wrong with this place. It's just, uh, a bit of a step down from the Palais Marmonia. You know, it's common courtesy to make sure the homeowner isn't an earshot when you're denigrating their abode. <laughs> okay, when did Poppy got a thin air become all the rage? First Catherine and now you? I was just out on a shopping trip. I ran out of macaroni, so I went to grab a few more bags. I used to have a much wider range of choices when it came to food. But now I'm finding that simple, traditional home cooking can be quite delicious too. Not at all. As long as you have different kinds of sauces in, you can have macaroni and tomato sauce one week, macaroni and bolognese the next. Oh, sounds like you're really struggling to cope. How rude! Questioning my cooking skills, the audacity! It's not like I have a very eventful life these days. Actually, I barely leave the house. So I don't see how it's unusual that my meals are a little simpler now, too. Besides, I'm sure I could master dishes like La Lettre Fossilor or Blubber Profiteroles in no time, if I felt so inclined. Ah, there it is. You don't know how to cook. <laughs> not yet, maybe, but... Anyway, what are you even doing here? I do hope you didn't come here just to ogle at my fall from grace. Let me first be clear that I'm not taking guests at this time. So if you're just here to clown around, then please be on your way. Shoot! Sorry! We're sorry! Please don't be mad! Yeah, exactly! What the traveler said! Paimon wasn't kind to make fun of you. Hang on a sec! You aren't exactly holding back either! My help? Hm? Uh, well, maybe you're forgetting that I'm no longer the mighty Hydro Archon. I don't even have a vision, you know. Don't worry, it's nothing that serious. It's just very specific, and you're the one with the power to help! Oh? Well, if that's the case, then... Fine. I'll spare you the lecture about your attitude just now. So tell me, what specifically makes this matter so... specific? Ah, I see. I knew you couldn't have come all this way just to amuse yourselves at my expense. After all, I was once the brightest star in all of Fontaine, well-versed in all the various performing arts. A mere musical is well within my capabilities. <laughs> but given the present circumstances, I'm afraid I must regretfully decline your casting request. How come? It sounds like this would be a breeze for you. True. But I have made a decision to retire from the stage. Although I am no longer required to play the role of the Hydro Archon, the time I spent inhabiting that character has left an indelible mark on me. Centuries of pretending to be a different person changes you completely. I'm not the same person I once was. Of course, that can't be undone now. It's too late, and I have no intention of reinventing myself all over again. But at least I can say that I no longer desire to play any new roles. Uh, Paimon can understand, but this is just a one-off part to fill in for someone who's sick. Surely that's okay. Whether it's a one-off or not, it's a boundary that I've committed to no longer cross. If I make an exception to the rule now, I'm just leaving a back door for myself. Which would be the same as not having a boundary in the first place. So I'm not going to perform, and that is that. Okay, guess there's no convincing you. Well, is there anything else we can do to help out the troop? Otherwise, they'll just have to disband without any fanfare. Do you know any other actors who might be interested in the role? Nope. Short and to the point, okay. I've never been great at maintaining relationships. Besides, 
Anyone I've ever worked with probably couldn't wait to get rid of me. Since I'm just an ordinary person now, they'll probably just laugh in my face if I go asking them for help. True, but... I mean, could you even blame them? I show up out of the blue, begging and groveling for their help with a show they won't even get paid for? Ooh, no way. I'm dying from embarrassment just thinking about it. <sighs> nope, not happening. Well, is there anything else we can do? This performance really means a lot to the guy we're working for. Have I not made myself clear? You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't want this job, nor do I know of anyone else who would. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean for that to sound so harsh. I wish I could help, really. But if I thought I had the answer to this problem, I would have said so by now. It's all right, Farina. Paimon just wanted to make sure we tried everything. Oh, everyone in the troupe will be so disappointed. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do now. All right, then. We'll see you around, Farina. Uh, toodaloo to you, too. I'm going home to take a rest now. <laughs>